hey guys welcome back last time we were able to set up our models and we, we also have this tracking model so in this video we're gonna go ahead and look at how to use model forms to create a form where we can create a to do and also be able to save that to do in our database so first off i want to mention that we don't have the authentication yet so i'm gonna go to i'm going to first disable things that require authentication at the moment and then when we start to work with authorization then we can enable our authentication or our our user and then we can see how we can restrict different parts so now let's first focus on creating to do's deleting to do's without being authenticated so if we go to our to do you see we set up a foreign key field so i'm going to comment out this foreign key for now then we can comment it later so when we change something in the models we need to migrate again so make migrations then let's migrate then just run back our server so now here in the header we need a link to go to create to do so in the header with html so the link to create to do i'm going to basically move it up so it's already showing so i can just move it here so if you come back and refresh we have it so clicking it it's not redirecting anywhere so we need to make sure here we are going to the create to do url so we use our url tag then we go to the name so the name of this is create to do it's create dash to do so we want to copy this and uh, over here we want to make sure it is the one okay so we add create to do so in the urls we need to have create we need to have a different route here so let's say create yeah let's just say create so now if you come back here refresh and click create you see that now we come on create to do so first off you notice that our content is being sent out from the middle so we don't have uh, buttons on the left on the right and all that stuff so in our base template so base is going to be where is our base so in our base template here where we render our content we need to render this content in a div let's make sure we are moving this inside here then this class let's give it some semantic ui classes so it's gonna be ui container let's save it come back here refresh see now it's over here so to create the form so now to create the form we're gonna go to to do and over here like i said you are going to be using model forms so to use model forms you can go to your app and then you want to create a new file called forms.py then you can create a form so class this is going to be called to do form to do form so we're going to be importing from forms.model form model form forms.model form and of course we need to import forms so from django import forms like this okay so when you so when you imp, you create your class you need to define other information so you write class meta like that and then we want to define the model name so the model here is gonna be to do so we need to import it so from dot models import to do okay so now that we have this the, our, our to do model will have things like created that things like we have things like created that things like is completed and all that funds is completed so our to do model will have things like created that which we might not need to include in the form so we can set up another attribute here but before we do that just to show you how it's gonna look we can go to our views so our create so in our create view we can construct a form so you can say form equals we need to import our model form so from from dot forms import to do form so you say form equals to do form then we want to call it like this then over here let's set up a context so context can be like extra information we want to send from the view to the template so form is gonna be form okay and now we pass that as the second as the third parameter here so pass context like that so now if you go back to our template we should be able to access this form so i'm gonna go to the template so template is over right here so inside here we can have these two so whenever you want to display dynamic content you can use this and then we want to display the form 
Okay, so first off, you notice that we don't have the fields set up on our model form. So we want to go to our forms and also set up the fields key. So fields equals, if you want to show all, you can do the under all like this and save. Then make sure that your server is still up. So I'm gonna pause mine and then re reload it. So if you go back to the app and click create to do, you see that we have an issue. This should be a dictionary. So in the views, uh, so we have context. This should be, this should be a dictionary, sorry. So if you come here and reload, so you see that now we have our form and we didn't go ahead to create these fields. But one thing you'll notice that these forms, they're not looking really great at first. So you want to, so what you want to do is you want them to be block. So for them to be block, you want to render this form as a paragraph. So in here, let's go here into do form dot as underscore p and save so if we save this and then reload you see that now this form is being rendered as broke elements so you note that we don't have the submit button and the form is still not looking great so for it to be able to look great we need to wrap it in a form form tags so form so if we now move this as p into the form we need to specify other classes for it to look good so this class is gonna be ui form okay so if we save this and refresh you now see that things are looking a lot better so we also have the is completed now we need to submit this form so to submit this form we can have an input input of input of type submit so input submit then we can say maybe something like submit over here and if we come back here so now we have the, the button there so for this button we want it to look a little bit better so that's where we can now use some semantic classes so we can use ui button should be 1b like this let's refresh now you see it's looking good so if we want it to look like this we can just pass primary here primary then let's refresh so now it looks like this so how do we go ahead to save this these changes into our div? So if we fill this form and submit, nothing is gonna happen. That's because we also need to set up the action. So the action will refer to where we want the, this form to be submitted to. So here we can use our URL, and then we want it to go to the same view. So the view is create to do. So we also need to specify the method for the form as other forms. So the method is going to be post. So we're going to be posting data to this view here. So if we refresh and uh, go ahead to and go ahead to fill this and submit, you see that we get this CSRF verification field, and that's because every form we write should have cross-site request forgery protection. So Django provides us with a way to add these in our forms. So we make sure you add that before you submit so then in the view so that's gonna be over here what we want is we want to check if a user is posting information so we can save it so here we can check if a user is posting by checking if request with method equals post so if this is the case here we can get the title so the title is gonna be request dot post dot get title so so that means that in the post data we want to get the title let's also get the description it's gonna be title not titles so description should be just description so for the is completed so for the is completed <coughs> since it's a boolean field it's going to be sent to us not as true or false so we're gonna be checking to if we have so <coughs> so we're gonna be checking the key here so the key is completed now that's what's gonna be sent to us. So here we can check for is completed. And uh, we want to say that if it's not available, we want to use this false by default. Then here, we can now construct our new to-do. So let's make sure we're importing to-do here. So from to-dos, import our to-do. Okay. So here now we can create our new to-do. We can say to-do equals to-do. 
like this then now we can set do dot title equals title to do dot description equals description then to do dot is completed so for the is completed like i said this value is going to be on or off so whenever it is on we want to set it to true we can set it to true if is completed up there is completed equals on otherwise we'll set it to false like that then when we are done we want to call to do dot save okay so now so after we save we want to redirect to a page that contains the single to do item so that means we need to create another template and also another view so i'm going to duplicate this so this one is going to be called to do detail which i'm just going to call it to do to do detail makes sense okay so here let's remove everything else and only have to do i'm just gonna have detail here and then i'll remove the form because we won't need it so here in our view when we are done saving we want to return we're gonna be using http redirect so we're gonna be so so we want to return a redirect so we need to import redirect from django so from django http import redirect so we want to redirect the detail page of the new created to do so to get the details page we of course need to have a url first so let's create that url so here i'm going to duplicate this so this one is going to be to do slash so on here we are going to be using the ids so the id is going to be an int so on to do slash the id we want a view to handle that so i'm going to call this to, to do so i'm going to call this to do detail then the name we can also say to do detail actually I just call it to do i think it makes sense okay so let's create the view so let's create this view here quickly so we can come down here and have a view so def so then we want to get request then now we can return render gets request then gets the template so template is gonna be to do slash to do detail.html then the context can be empty for now okay so here when we finish we want to redirect to this so here there's a special case because because this url expects us to pass an id so that means that here in in this to do detail we need to expect that id so here we need to expect it so make sure you're expecting it then on here remember we are not so remember we don't directly redirect to things like to do slash one to do slash three but we let django handle that so here for us to be able to to hand to make, to make django handle that we're using the url with parameters we want to use the reverse utility so i'm gonna come over come over here and so from django dot urls import reverse like this so when we import reverse now here we can say okay we don't know the real url but what we know is we want so what we know is the url name so our url name is to do but we also know that this view expects a, key, a keyword argument of id so here we can put a comma and specify some quags so quags is going to be a dictionary with the key that we expect and also the the value we have so this we don't have to be rendering it we want to use these tags instead so save so for the id every time we call save we get the id that was created for this current to do so here you can do to do dot pk like this and then save so now if you come back to the site then go to create to do we can enter some title then let's enter some description and also submit so when you submit you see that we are redirected here meaning that our to-do was created. So that's gonna do it for now. So in the next video, I'm gonna come in, we create more to-dos and also retrieve these accordingly. So thanks guys for watching. I will talk to you in the next video.